Yeah, yeah. Um, I got a uh, sort of response, and I'm going to do a video response because I just don't feel like typing, and also sometimes I end up repeating myself over and over and over to different people in different places. So I thought I'd just uh, respond in videos, and the videos there, and in case you can see, the video is a bit anonymous because I never mention your name or anything. So because it's a very common question that I'm getting and it's all it's all the same not many people understand me okay first of all you mentioned that I haven't you don't have a clue what to I too do not understand why I'm having so much trouble uh, when I know there's Facebooks devoted to tits ass photos of women nude and non-nude and you also put your and you put your art which you classify as erotic and haven't had any complaints and your things removed well the thing is I, I, I wonder I, I, I've thought about this myself as I don't know why people would actually go out their way to attack me um, they get enjoyment from it and all I want to do is just focus on my art and they're just distracting me off my art with this it, it the thing is I post my art as I mentioned earlier that I um, share what I do so that people know that I'm quite busy with my work and then as well show share my art progressions uh, as I mentioned earlier um, as well as yeah, you know works in progress um, things because I also do it if I do it on the computer I normally use live stream but however not everyone can just go on a live stream so it's much easier just to have a look at the photos um, if you're a friend or family and you're interested um, you would actually look for it if you're not interested you just carry on browsing uh, and not bothering you know um, I just don't know why they do this they did the same with me on Devon it's probably because of what I am uh, born into sex and everything they do it because of that and they and they they just hate me because of it I don't know why and it's most prominent the majority I feel is from men males on this planet I've only had one issue with a a, a woman online um, which actually made up become like, at least five men problems I've had um, that's what the, 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 the artist that had the intersex community on DeviantArt but the thing is that's in the past and I just want to move on and there's still people um, bullying me in the sense of using authorities to get at me and in the authorities um, they listen to the bullies and they agree on the bullies in a sense and they report uh, and then the thing is the, 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 the artwork gets taken down and then um, the artwork and the video gets taken down and then Facebook then blocks me from doing anything um, for, for so many days, like 30 days or something, I'm actually blocked over my birthday. As I mentioned before, I can't thank the people who wish me happy birthday. Yes, I, that's what I'm saying. I don't know why they do it. The reason why Facebook is important to be for me is because all my friends have gone there. Everyone seems to be on Facebook friends, family, everything. It's like the new email in a sense and people just don't realize that or they take it for granted in a sense and that, um, that it actually works out cheaper than to use the phone, cheaper than text messages. You can actually send a text to the phone which I mentioned in my earlier video. Um, um, it is if it is friends it's not really true friends and if it's family it's obviously family that's actually jealous and 
the thing is, they should understand that I want to do something in my life, and this is th th they're destroying my life when they do this. They know better than my parents if they do this. And my parents are not on Facebook. Thank goodness. You never know; they could be undercover. Who knows? Um. You basically quote me saying the ignorant. Um, I'm saying that the ignorance of society is not helping me with my dreams. The thing is, what you don't understand is I had been born, forced, to, to a certain gender that I'm truly not, and then operated on, and then, all my life forced to do this, forced to that. I was even. Bible bashed by my parents. Um, actually, when I came, when I see um, other children in town, and the way the parents actually treat them, they actually help them. They give them sp support. They um, uh, promote and, uh, and help them accomplish their dreams. Mine never did that. And then I'm not. And then the thing is, if your parents don't do that, you 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 look to society for help. And then if society doesn't help you with trying to help you um, accomplish your dreams, then what do you do? You know. The reason the thing is, the society does lack the the tolerance, mostly the tolerance, and the understanding. Not knowledge, the understanding and the empathy, uh, and they don't know what I'm going through. I've been through so much. I've been raped. I've been, I've been traumatized. I've been beaten up. I've been through life, and and my art is the only thing that I feel that is worth doing to what life is living, because. I've attempted suicide several times, and it's my art that helps me get through it. And now you know, um, because it's very hard to explain to people that. And sometimes I don't listen, and then they go on and then assume me. And then what you're doing there in the next, the last thing I say, you say. I think you have a case of what internet refers to USI unwarranted self opponent. That is basically assuming me. Because the reason, uh, the, well, the tension is focused on me and my art, but as well, I actually also um, fight against censorship for everybody else. But the thing is, I just get it hard because I am different, I am intersexed. Um, um, I'm like a, I stick out like a sore thumb in a sense. Easy target. And I hope you understand now and please think.